The following is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. like an Enrique Iglesias love song. leather pants though oh my goodness intro. <laughs> okay, there we go. We are playing the very first Silent Hill on the original PlayStation. If that wasn't very obvious. That intro is super duper long, but it sort of gives you a little bit of a, a backstory. Harry Mason here is driving and then he crashes and then all of a sudden he wakes up and Cheryl, his daughter, is missing. This is, this is, yeah, this is the oldest game I think I've played so far on this channel. But, uh, yeah, this is what we're doing for our next Mark After Dark segment. Um, we're going to be playing through the original Silent Hill. Eventually I want to get through all of them, but I figured, you know what, I'm going to start with the very first one just to get people who are not familiar with it, um, the opportunity to understand the story. The graphics, <laughs> if that wasn't obvious at this point, are... You know, this is an old game. <laughs> There's one title I don't think um, ever received as a, a modern remaster. I think there was like a limited edition like remaster of some of these games. I don't know if this one ever got one. I feel like they're really missing out. They need a, a, a collector's edition set for for these games. But anyway, despite the fact that the, the graphics are really like... Well, you see it for yourself. The game is still pretty creepy and scary. And this game came out before the DualShock controller, so there's no joysticks, so I'm stuck using the D-pad, which I absolutely hate. It can be kind of frustrating at times. This is where we crashed. My car, too banged up to drive. Where's Cheryl? Hope she's safe. So he's looking for his daughter because she's missing. And the entry point into Silent Hill blocked off. There's not really a whole lot to do. Um, in this part of the first level, we just gotta keep going until we, uh, well, you'll see. But alright. I'm like trying to get used to the controls here for the D pad. Okay, so he's here, he hears footsteps off in the distance. You remember back in the day when people saw these graphics and they're like, oh my god, they're so lifelike. <laughs> and then you look at them now and it's just a bunch of awkward boxes. Alright, so he sees a little girl. Cheryl? There you go. Is that Cheryl? Don't call out to her or anything. 
Where are you going? Hey, wait! Stop! For the time being, at least, <laughs> the spook factor is real in this game, but the voice acting, it's pretty much absent. <laughs> There's not really a lot going on in the voice acting department. I think they just kind of went over to accounting and was like, hey, does anybody want to voice the main character, Harry Mason? And then David Johnson's like, yeah, sure, I'll do it. Gotta love his, uh, his run animation as well. Alright, so we're in a spooky town. No one is around except for me and this little girl. And, uh... Oh, Jesus. Ugh. Gotta appreciate the cinematic angles, though, that they have here. It's just going deeper and deeper into the heart of Silent Hill. It's so hard to control this with a D-pad. But this is the game, or the way they make the game was meant to be played. That's strange, it's getting darker. Better than nothing, I guess. Why did that scare me? There's a crippled kid that's like unable to get around now because of this. Yikes. Just a random cot covered in blood. The spookiness is real. This is a fence. Oh, wait, no. Yikes. Oh, God. What is this? What's going on here? Where's its face? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, what? Little monster midget thing get off me or dwarfs i should say for the political term i can't get off them no oh they got me don't worry that's actually supposed to happen you can't really get away from these crazy little kid creature things boy oh boy Hello, Officer Jenny. Was I dreaming? How do you feel? Not great. Just got stabbed oh, a bunch. Like I've been run over by a truck. But I'm all right, I guess. Glad to hear it. You from around here? Why don't you tell me what happened? Wait a second, I'm just a tourist. I came here for a vacation. I just got here. I don't know what happened. I'd like to find out myself. Wow, riveting conversation. Uh-huh. Have you seen a little girl? Just turned seven last month. Short, black hair. My daughter. Sorry. The only person I've seen in this town is you. Where is everybody? I'd tell you if I knew, believe me. Who wrote this? <laughs> but from what I can tell, something bizarre is going on. What was your first clue? The ash falling from the sky? The dead bodies everywhere? The blood splattered mm. on the walls and the streets. 
the crazy little What's your name? dwarf children with knives running around naked stabbing Harry. people. Harry Mason. Sybil Bennett. Mm -mm -mm. I'm a police officer from Brams, the next town over. Sybil Bennett. I had such a crush on her when I was younger. The phones are all dead. And the I know she's too. not real. I'm going back to call in some reinforcements. Yeah, good luck with that. Hmm. Hold it. Where do you think you're going? My daughter. I've got to find her. <laughs> wow, the enthusiasm. No way. It's dangerous out there. In that case, I need to find her now. Cheryl's <laughs> my little girl. Jeez. I can't just leave her out there by herself. Somebody call the academy on this, right? Jeez. Have you got um, a gun? No. And the Oscar goes too. Take this and hope you don't have to use it. Now listen to me. Before you pull the trigger, know who you're shooting. Hmm. And don't do it unless you have to. <laughs> and don't go blasting me by mistake. <laughs> Got it? Oh boy. It's yeah, thanks. It's gonna be kinda hard taking this seriously, I think. You do best to stay nearby. I'll be back with help as quick as I can. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. So I don't want uh, these episodes to be super short, so we'll, we'll go a little bit further. But there is a safe spot over here, I remember. Uh, those, I wonder if I, let me see if I can pick these items up. They look like they're pickable uppers. Uh, there's a health drink. Yep. What else was that? There was a flashlight. Yep. And a town map, I think. There is a residential area map. Yeah. And it's hard to read even from here. It's all like blurry and junk. All right. Oh God, what was that? Hold on, let me. Can I see? Hold on, I'm gonna save it in a second. But I'm pretty sure I just saw a big gross nasty monster flying outside that door. Let's just watch for a second. Is it going to fly by again? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I, I, I know that I, I know what I saw. Rewind it and double check. <clears throat> Someday someone may experience these bizarre events. Hopefully they will find my notes useful. Cafe. Okay. I wonder... Whatever. So how do I... Okay, so let... Yeah, bumpers are for strafing. Oh, you can change your camera view. That's interesting. That's nice. Alright, let me see. So the map... Triangle. And then select... I wonder... Name, handgun. Holds up to 15 rounds stock. Equip. So did I equip it? Oh, I did. Hmm. I need to see how I can aim. I don't want to waste a bullet, but I do feel like I'm going to end up shooting. At some point. What am I doing? What is that pose? What is <laughs> What is that pose? All right, we'll figure it out. Maybe I should check for something useful before leaving. Oh, at least it tells you before you have to before you leave that you should grab all items. That red thing looks useful. What is this? Radio or something? Is it broken? Can't hear anything. No, it's not useful. Oh, health item and a knife. I wonder if I can take those. Yes. Yes. Uh, was that everything that we needed? I can't really see. Is there anything else in here that I should grab? Doesn't look like it. Wait. Um, 
ketchup and mustard, it looks like. Yeah, that I think that's it. Was that all it wanted me to grab? Was the knife? Oh, now the radio starts playing. What's that? The radio that you just looked at? Huh. Radio. What's going on with that radio? Doesn't it let you know when monsters are around or something? Oh, Jesus. Oh! Double Jesus. I don't know how to, like... How do I... Oh, God. It hurts me big time. How do I beat it? I don't know how to shoot. Oh my this god. Dream. What's happening to this place? Okay. It auto aims. That's helpful. I didn't know that there was an auto aim. That's why I was freaking out, because it's like the controllers back in the day, these weren't very useful. Um without the joysticks and the Whatever. Okay. Let me double check. Is there a way, I wonder, how can I see what my current health is? So we're orange right now, so I think that's bad. And we're green, okay. All right, oh boy. At least it auto-aims, that's so helpful. Okay. You know what, I tried to take this already, but. Yes. Also, if this thing is going to alert me of nearby monsters, I have a suspicion that it's probably not a good idea to carry it with me because it's going to end up making noise when monsters are nearby and they're going to hear it and they're going to come at me. I don't know. It's a catch-22. Is it a catch-22? Where could you have gone? It's like, not a double-edged sword, but like, you get what I'm saying. Tell me the monsters are nearby. Tells the monsters I'm nearby. It's a bad idea. Okay, so where so we're at the cafe. So we need to go to the Oh nice. Okay, so we're gonna go to Finney Street. We're gonna go down Bachman, which is to the right, and then Finney. Let's take a look around and see if there's anything else useful. This game is like twenty some odd years old, so I know I'm going the wrong way. Oh shit. That's not good. There's a health thing right there, though. Okay. Yes. Okay, so this thing... So it auto-aims. So it looks like when... This is like the, the kind of prone position. Like, you can't really shoot with that. It was a good idea that we went to explore to grab another, like, bottle of... Like aspirin or whatever that was, the health, but that should have killed it. There we go. Did he drop anything? <laughs> Why is that a function? <laughs> oh, interesting. So we, so that kick like finished him? And now the blood is everywhere? Does that mean that one from the cafe we didn't kill? Because I didn't kick that thing. That was pretty funny, though. Oh, I thought that fire hydrant was one of those little stabby naked dwarf children or whatever. Mm. Trying to keep an eye out. <sighs> Let's take a look at the map to make sure I'm going the right direction. Where am I? Okay, so I'm close. So I'm a... Yeah, so we're at the deli, so we just need to go around the next, next left on the street here. Shit. Damn, dude, Harry's a great shot. Where you at, big bird? Come at me. Okay, so they fly away. Interesting. 
I wonder if that's the same one. Does it, like, circle back or something? Also, why am I not getting more ammunition? Can I go in these buildings? Doesn't really look like it. What the hell was that noise? Alright, let me double check the map again. We're getting closer. We need to go. That was my door making that noise. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but I thought it was like an in-game noise. It was my freaking door. God damn it. This is my right. There he is. Flying away. Do they give ammo? That's what I want to know. Is Do they drop any items of any kind? My, okay, so I'm right here. So I'm at the right spot. So this is where I need to go next. Oh, yeah, this is where I was. Let me look around here. This is where we followed that little girl and then went into that alley. Found the wheelchair. Uh, I swear to God, my door keeps creaking. Because I guess it's, like, windy outside. Freaking startling me. This might not be a bird, this might be something else. Oh god, it's that dog creature. Shoot. <laughs> I'm hearing something else, though. Yeah, it's another dog right there. Aw, oh, crap. So what do you do? So we're faster than that dog, <laughs> apparently. Crap. So wait, so... Oh, wait, I've got the knife. Health. Gun with nothing. Left. Sure. Let's just fight a demon dog that looks like he's been pulled inside out and uh, knife him. Come on, big boy. Come on. This isn't exactly a scary interaction. Was there two? Oh no, it was a dead one. Dude. Come on. I can't hit him. Like, he's, he's too low to the ground. Okay, you know what? If this is how the game is going to be... I can't hit him. <laughs> for some reason, Harry Mason can shoot for the best of them, but he can't bend over to use a knife. Does he say anything about this again? No, we've already clicked on it. Is there anything here? No, it doesn't look like it. Come on, just give me some more ammo. wheelchair was... No, it's not right there. The wheelchair wasn't... Was the wheelchair there, or was it like a next corner over? Please tell me this is ammo. Yes! Thank you, God. That's how you have to reload? I think that's... I... The, uh... Yeah, there's no view to really tell if the gun is currently reloaded, but we're going to assume that we're good. Wait, is that an item that I can pick up? It looks like a crowbar, kind of. Steel pipe! Hey! I was right. That should be how we should uh, fight those doggos. I think that green looks maybe a little bit yellow, so that dog didn't do too much damage to us. Wait, am I blocked off? It's really hard to control this. 
Okay, looks like we're stuck from this point. Let me see what the map says. Is there anything useful here? No, I mean, it says here. Oh, wait, what's the red X then? Oh, wait a minute. So it's telling me that's where we saw Cheryl, but is it telling me that's where I need to go? Because there's that red X on the map down Bachman, because I'm not seeing anything here. And it's very clear that I can't walk past this. But we got ammunition, so that's good. And that dog is easy to escape, so those flying ones I think are going to be a bit more... What's this? A bit more of a problem. We're going to go to the red X and see where to go. Yeesh. Oh, you just got had, son. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. The dog is still moving. Oh, okay, it's dead now. Yeah, there's nothing to pick up. That's lame. Is that other dog corpse still here? No, it looks like it evaporated. Nothing else. take a look at the map again. So if we go down Bachman, wait, so I need to go to the right and then the left, I think. Because I'm facing the wrong way. That X. So we'll go down this way. Got to keep a close eye for any items that might be on, like, sills or ledges of any kind. Funny. It just flies by. Damn, you're such a good shot, Harry. <laughs> and then kick. <laughs> I can't be the only one that finds that funny. All right, Harry, keep it up, man. Let me take a look at the map here and see if I've zipped past where I need to go. Nope. Next left. Can I reload? Let me check. Oh, we got quite a few shots. Nice. Okay, no, we got we got plenty. Let the bullets fly. <laughs> Thump. And kick. <laughs> That's never not gonna be funny. I'm telling you right now, it's going to be hilarious. I think I missed a shot, because it looked like those things were being taken down in four bullets. So far, this game is very easy, but it doesn't... Um, damn it. It will not continue to be that way, I don't think. Okay, let me look at the map again. Yep, just keep going. I think. That's what I would think, right? The red X. Wouldn't that make sense? Oh, no, wait. This is bringing me back to where I was. Uh, this is my car crash. That's why it's telling me. Well, I'm here. I might as well take another look around and see if there's anything that I missed. Dang it. I doubt we would have bullets in the car because we didn't have the gun. And... Seriously, do these things spawn? Or... If I kill it, I'm sure they spawn, probably. There's just so much to look at. I don't know... Hmm. Alright, well, I guess... Oh, wait, no, we got that pipe, didn't we? So, I think... Wait, can we go in that thing? In this spot? No. 
So if we got that lead pipe, I'm wondering if it's not just a weapon. Is that like something we can use to pry open part of the gate? Damn. Oh wait, no, we were already over here and this is... Can I kill it from when it's up there? I can't. Yeah, it's just a waste. This is open, so I feel like I can go inside this thing. I can. Alright, what's in here? The radio's not going off. Hey! Hey! What's up, my health? Cool, cool. Yeah, it makes sense. Convenience store. Is that ammo? Oh, wait, that's just a random. It's not something I can pick up. So there's a save spot. What do we have here? Yeah. I feel like those things are just so kind of washed out that they don't really have any use to us because we can't pick them up. Okay, I see the save thing. Is there something behind the counter? Let's rob the place. Nope, nothing. All right, I think this is probably a good enough place to stop. Still trying to figure out the uh, what I got to do here. Uh, no, we're good. We're, I was going to reload, but we're good. All right, cool. Well, this is the beginning of Silent Hill. We'll call this one uh, Welcome to Silent Hill. But uh, appreciate you guys sticking around with me. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow night, same time, same place, 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, where we continue our journey through Silent Hill and try to find our daughter, Cheryl, or Harry's daughter, I guess I should say, to be more specific. But thanks again. Hopefully uh, you're enjoying this a little bit. Uh, I know this is an old school, like major old school game, but nonetheless, likes and comments and uh, all that good stuff always help the channel out. So if you feel the need to do that, appreciate it. If not, no big deal. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good rest of the evening, and I'll see you later. <laughs> all right. Good night.